low level turbulence includes mechanical, eddies from hangers, trees or other obstructions, convective, also referred to as thermal turbulence, there's that heat again I keep mentioning, frontal, narrow zone just ahead of fast moving cold front, wake, created from aircraft lift. Now these all make sense, mechanical, for us guys in the helicopter, we get a lot of mechanical turbulence, especially around hangers, out hovering around by a fence row. We get mechanical turbulence taken off and landing here at Plymouth where we're flying. The runway is kind of like in a gully and there's a big long line of trees down both sides. And we always get that turbulence right about the treetop level when we're climbing up and when we're coming in. So there's an example of mechanical. They can be from hangers, trees, other obstructions. So the convective turbulence, this falls back to the heat again. Surface heating, thermal, anytime that's involved, then that means thermal heating, ground heating, frontal turbulence, narrow zone just ahead of fast moving cold front, and there's a famous number here, 30, winds usually greater than 30 for frontal, any front moving at 30 knots or more, hence the three again, you can have frontal turbulence and wake turbulence created from other aircraft. Clear air turbulence. They say usually above 15,000 but can be anywhere. Now, that's what I just read going back to my private pilot manual I just reviewed before firing up the camera tonight. Usually above 15,000 but it can be anywhere. And this can come from different layers of air moving at different directions and speed basically mixing with others how you could get the clear air turbulence.